Okay, here we are, take five, Anthony Samsell, and we are discussing the glyphosate levels in food. food. Um, as, uh, as I uh, previously mentioned, um, glyphosate residues appear in milk, cheese, uh, poultry, turkey, pork, beef, uh, any animal products. And we had, uh, we had mentioned that uh, uh, some of the animal feed has up to 500 um, milligrams per kilogram or uh, parts per million. Um, and these levels are extremely toxic. And this is cruel, actual cruelty to animals. And the glyphosate is passed through the food supply pass through the food chain to us. You, we eat the eggs, we eat the fish, the um, turkey, whatever. Any animal that's fed a glyphosate uh, uh, contaminated grain is going to pass it on to us if we eat that product. So um, our health is impacted from, again, from uh, not just the genetically engineered crops, but now from the animals that are eating the genetically engineered crops. And this is most disturbing. Yeah. Um, and we, uh, we also talked about how the Environmental Protection Agency uh, has been petitioned by Monsanto just recently to raise glyphosate levels. There should be no glyphosate in food whatsoever. Glyphosate is damaging to our biology. It's damaging to animal biology. It's damaging to the planet. Um, and the only way we can avoid this is to eat organic meat yes. and poultry and organic grass-fed now, if it's grass-fed, does that mean it's glyphosate-free? If uh, if the beef is grass-fed, you also have have to ask uh, whether the animal was finished with grain. If they're finishing the the animal with corn, uh, the last 30 days before the animal goes to slaughter, chances are it's genetically engineered grain. So, would glyphosate residues be in that animal? Yes. So you really have to know. You where really, food's. you really have to know where your food's coming from. Wow. Uh, we are in a debacle in this country. We, um, we have one of the most unsafe food supplies on earth. And the federal government will tell us that our food is safe. It's not safe. If our food is glyphosate or any herbicide in it, it is not safe for human consumption or animal consumption. Um, we mentioned uh, earlier that there are 100 and, uh, 160 uh, food groups that are contaminated with glyphosate. And we mentioned how uh, yeah. even, even uh, oranges and apples and uh, apricots and uh, tangerines, any orchard that they use um, glyphosate for weed control under the trees, the glyphosate is absorbed into that plant. Um, glyphosate again is used as a as a top kill uh, on many crops like wheat before harvest to, to desiccate it or to top kill um, peas for dried peas. To dry uh, them. To, to dry them. Yeah. Beans for dried beans. Mm -hmm. uh, to make baked beans. Uh, all contaminated with with glyphosate. It's it's like we're slowly poisoning our entire population. Potatoes, potatoes, oh. um, potatoes. Oh. They they use. <laughs> don't want to know that. They use glyphosate. I know you don't want to know this, but but we. French need, fries are my kids' favorite. We need to know the truth, and I'm going to yeah. give you the truth. Prior to planting potatoes, the field is sprayed with glyphosate. That's to kill any perennial weeds or any annual, we annual weeds coming up. The field is planted with the uh, seed potato. Right. Um, the plants grow. Uh, the plants are then sprayed with uh, uh, chlorothalonil, which is one of the most dangerous fungicides on the planet. Mm. That's the focus of another paper that Stephanie and I will be writing uh, in the next few months. Um, it's, uh, the potatoes are also treated with imidacloprid, which is a systemic pesticide which has been linked in, uh, to uh, bee deaths 
and pollinating insect deaths banned in Europe. We're trying to get it banned in this country, but it's, it's falling upon deaf ears with the Environmental Protection Agency. In uh, imidacloprid, in concert with uh, glyphosate, which is uh, an organophosphate type chemical, uh, is synergistic. The effects of both chemicals are greater than either one alone. So the neurotoxic effects are greatly increased. This, uh, this is critical now with potatoes. Now, the, uh, the potatoes are grown. The, uh, the uh, farmer wants to harvest the potatoes. Now the farmer goes through and sprays glyphosate by helicopter, by airplane, or by boom with his tractor and sprayer. Mm -hmm. Goes through the field and sprays with glyphosate to kill the vines to desiccate them, to dry them out so that the mechanical harvest is easier and enhanced. Those residues, not only from the glyphosate that's in the ground from treating the weeds prior to planting, but now the glyphosate from the top kill and desiccation is now absorbed into the potato itself. So, so virtually all potatoes that are not organic have glyphosate residues. Not just glyphosate, but they have imidacloprid residues. And they have chlorothalonil residues. You have a toxic cocktail with potatoes that um, uh, is re responsible for a multitude of diseases. Uh, I'm currently looking at a problem right now with Stephanie. Uh, we're uh, trying to help some folks up in uh, Prince Edward Island in Canada. Mm -hmm. Prince Edward Island is the cancer capital of Canada. Mm. The island is so affected um, and it's a, it's a population that is surrounded by potatoes. Their agriculture is based on potatoes. They have uh, their well water is contaminated. The air that they're breathing up there is contaminated with not only glyphosate but chlorothalonil, the fungicide. Mm. Um, this is very, very frightening. And again, um, the Environmental Protection Agency has, uh, has registered these chemicals as safe to use in agriculture based on documentation from, from industry. From the people who make the chemicals. That's correct. So they're allowing them to police themselves, to make their own rules, to put these toxic chemicals on our food, on our earth, in our air, in our water. Right. And the toxicological studies that are done don't go past 90 days. And generally, you're not going to see um, adverse results unless you go beyond 90 days of study. To the full, well, with rats, like to the full life of, uh, of the animal, out two years. Yeah, they don't, they don't do that. And based on chemical toxicology, the field of toxicology is inadequate because it does not allow for us to look at and examine the effects of subliminal dosage. What does that mean? That means doses that are lower than the LD50. The lethal dose, the, the LD50 uh, right. is the lethal dose where half the animals in the study died. And that's what our toxic, toxicology of pesticides and herbicides are based on. The LD50. The ones where the, peop the animals died, not the ones where the animals didn't they, die. They, they say that uh, like um, uh, uh, the formally used uh, chemical Temic, which is an aldicarb pesticide, uh, they say uh, five, uh, uh, a, half a, a half of a milligram per kilogram is lethal. Okay. Very toxic. Okay. This is just uh, for an example. Okay. Well, what that meant is that 0.5 milligrams per uh, um, per uh, yeah 0.5 milligrams per kilogram of weight is the lethal dose necessary to kill half the laboratory animals in the I see what you're saying. Okay. And so they based the so that's a lethal amount. Right. So, so they based the toxicology on that. And they never look at 
the subliminal doses, which could be in parts per trillion, right. as to what it may be doing. Like with glyphosate, destroying our bacteria, yeah. the bacterial balance necessary to make serotonin from right. tryptophan. Right. So if we were to ingest, say, 200 parts per million of glyphosate, it could, could kill us. It kill us. But at point, it would gel our blood. Right, but at 0 0.2 parts per million, we could live for another 20, 30 years. We would just have destroyed gut bacteria and maybe get Crohn's disease or Parkinson's or whatever. A and, plethora. Yeah, and all kinds of of, of disease right. outcomes. A plethora. And then we'd uh, uh, we'd go to our doctor. Yeah. And um, the doctor would prescribe a pharmaceutical, yes. another chemical, yeah. which is going to uh, either up or down regulate a particular gene that's going to uh, cause the effect to subside. Yeah. But there are side effects.